Hi everybody, welcome. This is Lexi over at the Podunk Paper File, and today I want to use this to make a book. Um, the bubble wrap is always so fun, and like I get Amazon Prime packages all the time, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I could totally use that and make something out of it. So today I'm going to use it, and I'm going to make something out of it. Um, so what I grabbed is I grabbed my um, Amazon Prime bubble wrap pack, I have a crocodile, um, what is this called? Crocodile chomper, just the crocodile, I can't remember. Um, I have one of these, you can also use the crocodile two tool. Um, both of these are gonna be good because I'm gonna be using eyelets today. And then um, I grabbed just some paper and I wanna wrap this in fabric. I'm just gonna check though and make sure that this fabric is not gonna show that blue through it before I get started, because I don't want it to, oh, it totally shows through. That's bad. So we need to pick something that is more like a dark, darker shade of fabric. All right, so do I have any sitting right here next to me? I have another one, but it's white. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> I came prepared, and I wasn't even prepared. Um, that's hideous. <laughs> it would work, but I don't know. I'm going to use it. I think it's ugly, but guess what? We're going to make it beautiful. Okay, so first things first, this envelope is 13 and a half by seven inches tall or six and three quarters inches tall. So this is gonna be like the perfect size. Um, normally I like my books to be like nine inches tall, but that's okay. Um, we can always trim pages or fold them or do whatever, so. And what I wanna do first is decide, so am I gonna score this? Cause usually I score it, but this weird stuff, no, I'm not gonna score it. Forget about that idea. So let's see. Just fold it in half. Let's see. I'm gonna fold. Yeah, I'm gonna fold it in half. Maybe just have one signature. That could be. That could work. Because what I wanted to do is make it like put two signatures in here. So like have <clears throat> like a little spine sort of thing, if that makes any sense. <laughs> and um, maybe we can do that by folding it. So do you kind of see what I'm working towards? I'm working towards like that. See, that's a square. That's what I wanted. So I'm, I have basically a square spine. Now, I think I'm only going to be able to fit one signature in there, but that's fine with me. So let me think. I guess the first thing I'm going to have to do is cover it. Um, now that I know where I'm going. So I'm going to take my hideous fabric. <laughs> And I'm going to, I want about a, an inch to, like a half an inch to an inch all the way around um, so that I can wrap it over. Sorry, I was just looking for my scissors. Ugh. Okay. You don't have to tear it, you can just cut it, but I like tearing it because it's quick and to the point. <laughs> so how's everybody doing? Um, I've been in and out a lot, I know. Lots going on in my life, in my world, but I am a happy camper, so there, at least there's that, right? So I'm using Fabri-Tac Fabri glue. 
Um, Fabri-Tac Fabri is, it bonds leather, fabric, all kinds of things. It's very similar to Fabri-Fix, which is my preferred glue. Um, this one, I didn't think it had a stronger smell or that it could, but it does. Uh, this one's very, very potent. I prefer the Fabri-Fix to this because um, it's got an acetone base, so it's very... Uh, invasive into your nostrils <laughs> it's very strong okay so I put that down and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of flatten it out so that my glue doesn't bleed through my fabric because it is a fabric glue but I still just want to make sure that we don't get any bleeding happening over to the front side where you know you're gonna actually see things so put that down in the center ish Okay, now what I wanna do is I'm gonna flip it over and I'm really gonna try and smooth out some of those creases because you can fold this in advance, but that's just not my style. I don't wanna take the time to iron anything, mainly because my ironing board is stuffed away in a corner and my iron is who knows where because my husband was the, <laughs> was the last one to use it, so. <laughs> and I don't mind the lines in it because, you know, at the end of the day, like that's gonna get covered up anyway, so it's fine. And then I'm gonna take my Fabri-Tac glue, glue down the corners. Now I don't care if it kind of bleeds through on this side because most of that's gonna get covered anyways. Um, okay, I'm just gonna trim this off. Okay, I finally found these on sale, um, like 15 bucks the other day at Hobby Lobby. They were having like a Fiskars brand sale or whatever. It was like everything was like half off and I was like buying these because these are awesome. They help when my carpal tun tunnel starts acting up, scissor, like using normal scissors can really hurt. So switching back and forth between the two kind of just helps with that for me. I don't know, everybody's different. Okay, now I'm gonna, can you see? Yes going around the edge of these. Yep, all the way around. Bring it around town. I always think of that episode of SpongeBob. First do this, then this. Stomp on your right leg, don't forget it. <laughs> it was like one of the first ever SpongeBob episodes and it's been in my head since, you know, it came out in the 90s or whatever. <laughs> oh, I love, I like SpongeBob. No shame in my game, girl, nope. All right, now I'm just gonna fold this over like so. And I'm gonna do the top, the bottom and top first um, and then do the sides. I don't know why, but I like to do it in that order. I don't know if there's like I guess it doesn't necessarily matter because it's all going to kind of be the same in the end, but whatever. That's the way that I like doing it. Okay, it's coming together. Do this side. Like, why not use junk mail? I mean, it's just sitting there doing nothing, going into the landfill, you know. Sorry, I just taken away some of the bulk. And this is bleeding through this fabric on this side, which again, we're gonna cover that with uh, book plates anyways, so I'm fine with it. This is gonna be a really cute soft cover journal. I'm really excited. And the this hideous fabric I really thought was hideous is actually not that bad. It's blinging, that's for sure, but for like a base, for like an old timey junk journal or a steampunk type junk journal, this will work good. And all it is is a fat quarter. I got a fat quarter from Joann's. It was like sitting on the shelf because I thought it went well with this. And I was making a fairy tale. I've been making a fairy tale um, like themed um, uh, photo album or an interactive photo album. And those things are so cool. If you don't know what they are, they're cool. Look them up. <laughs> 
Um, but I've been spending a lot of time on those. And to be honest with you, that's why I haven't been really doing my junk journal stuff because I've been listening to books and like I just get enthralled. I just like love books. I don't know about you guys, but like I'll listen to a book all day long if I can. Um, I just I love it. So anyway, um, just going to try and retrain that spine just a little bit. And just leaving about an inch or so on each half that I'm folding over to create that sort of like squared thing, spine thing, okay? Meow, meow, meow. Okay, next. What are we gonna do next, you ask? That's a great question. I don't even know the answer. <laughs> uh, all right, well, I just need to pick out a piece of paper, I suppose. Now, do I want cardstock? Probably want cardstock um, because it's already, it's a soft cover. Maybe not. I don't know. We can try a regular piece of scrapbook paper. What do you guys think? Sorry, I'm under my desk because I have a pile of scrapbook paper under my desk right now. <laughs> Ooh, I found something cool. So I found this. It's not wide enough. That's okay, we can cut it down, trim it down. And this is, I think, paper? Yeah. But I was thinking this field, oh, look at those. Pretty. He. Oh, well, hang on a minute. You know what would also be really good right here? Like, just plain old. I went to this um, craft book supply store that's in my in Orem here in Utah, and they have paper block, these big paper pads, um, three for twenty dollars for these big massive giant ones, and then the smaller paper stacks they've got six for twenty. So I spent fifty dollars and got six nine nine pads of paper for fifty bucks. Like that's pretty dang good if you ask me. So. But this one's got some old timey stuff in it, and I thought that there would be something cute in here. And I haven't even opened it yet. Which is weird, because usually I'm in the old timey stuff. But again, I've been working on a once upon a time themed journal. And it's been really fun. Or it's not like a journal, it's a, like I said, it's like a photo, interactive photo album. Um, there's not going to be any journaling space in it, so I haven't really uploaded any videos, but it's really cool. I've been really enjoying making that. Just like finding the size and making it all fit. And I've used almost an entire paper stack on one project, like the whole thing. I have like a few pieces left and they're just the base pieces for the pages that I've got in there. It's really cool. I mean, if you really want me to show you that kind of stuff, I would be happy to, but I know a lot of people on here are more leaning, liking junk journals and things like that and just want ideas. And I have some ideas, like let's just, let's use up some of this junk mail. Um, not the first person that's had that idea, but I saw it sitting on my counter down there and I was like, mm, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear that up or repurpose it. I like this one, where is it? Look at how pretty this paper is, you guys. It's close, not quite. Ah, no, nope, not what I was looking for. What I was looking for is probably closer to the back. Oh, I love old calligraphy handwriting stuff. It's the best. There it is. Look how pretty that is. With that ugly fabric, it's gonna look great. Normally what I would do is I glue the whole thing down, but since it's a little bit too big for that, I think I might, hmm. So I could, let me think, hmm. I'm gonna cut it in half. Maybe I'll just grab another piece of the same paper and just do it on both sides. Probably gonna be the best. Oh, 
Uh, the sun's going down. Sorry, I'm losing my light. I'm I'm excited though. We're having we're getting longer days. Daylight savings is coming. Um, I personally really like daylight savings because I like to jump back. A lot of people hate it, but I like to go back and have all that extra daylight. It's my favorite. Especially, I don't know where you're at, but here in Utah, we really do have shorter days in the winter time and uh, really, really long nights. And it sucks. I don't like it. Okay. Now I want to trim this down. So I need to figure out what size I need to trim it down to. Um, now this is about seven and three quarters, right? Oh, wait, hang on. That's, that's wrong. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and three quarters. So I'm going to do about eight and a half inches tall. So I'm going to trim that down first. And I'm cutting both pieces at the same time. So eight and a half tall. And I'm probably gonna use this for the spine to put that down and then we'll put, I'll put the other two pages. My kids are screaming at each other. Uh, the pains and joys of motherhood. Like my little boy comes running in my room, terrified I was in the bathroom. Mom, sissy's a zombie. Uh, seriously. Tell your sister to shut up. <laughs> I don't know why I cut both, but I did. All right, so I'm gonna glue this down first. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. Just where my spine is roughly going to be, and then I need to define where the spine is actually gonna go um, for to cover the book plates. So, let's see. Now again, I'm trying to train my spine as I go, and I have it about a half an inch on each side that I've been folding it at. I'm trying to get this done before it dries so I can sit in there well and proper. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to cover it, but I definitely want it to um, open and close easily. Hmm. Okay, so that's good enough for me for now. Because, see, oh boy, it's not center. Who the heck put me in charge of making things? Jeez. <laughs> oh, so I'm going to Las Vegas in like three or four weeks and I can't wait. I cannot wait to have a break. Like just where it's just me and my husband. We have literally nothing to do. We can just walk around and people watch. And that's my favorite thing about Las Vegas. Like, I don't need to spend a lot of money to be having fun down there, okay? There's enough fun to be had by just watching people being people, being themselves. They're so weird. There are just some weirdos down there. Not to say there isn't some weirdos or that I'm one of those weirdos, like, yeah, but yeah. Okay, so now, now, because I have that line there that, you know, you can kind of see that. I can now create um, my book plate. And I'm just searching for pencil. Um, I want about an eighth of an inch from the edge or so. That's good to me. And then we'll just uh, cut. Yeah. Putting them together. I'm gonna do them upside down though, cause then the other side will be a little bit different. So six and a quarter is what that measurement ended up being. Save that for another day. Okay, see, now they're a little bit different. I'm using Fabri-Tac for like the majority of this project because I, it's a very strong glue 
and it's I know it's going to withstand the test of time. So I started to try using like double sided tape for some of my things. And what I'm finding with the double sided tape that I'm using, um, it's not working very well um, it's for longevity, you know, like it, it ends up just giving up at some point and I'm like, hmm. If it's giving up while I'm crafting it, then maybe I shouldn't use it. All right. Just gluing that down, smushing it right on in there. Okay, cool. Pretty wonderful. Um, you could go around and ink the edges first, too, if you wanted. That'd be cute. Make it look a little more aged. But for time purposes, I think I'll just skip that part. Yeah, I was a 90s baby. I loved SpongeBob, Rugrats. Um, uh, what was another one of the shows I really liked as a kid? I liked um, uh, oh, uh, Ah, Real Monsters. Ah, Real Monsters. I really liked that show. Um, what else did I like? I can't remember. <laughs> Rocket Power. I definitely like Rocket Power. That was a good one. I think probably though my favorite was Rugrats. I just loved the little babies on there. I thought they were so cute. And uh, now, I don't know about all that. But. Oh, and my parents used to let me watch Ren and Stimpy. And yeah, I'm appalled too because whoa. That cartoon was intense. That stuff was like downright rotten. I rewatched it as an adult. Um, I was probably like 19 or so. So this was, you know, well over 10 years ago. But I rewatched it on YouTube because, you know, YouTube was like the big thing. And there was an ep Anyway, okay. Found it and it was nuts. I was like, whoa, this is so crude and gross. <laughs> like, holy cow. I can't believe my parents let me watch this. Okay. So here's the point where we're at. My kid's yelling at my dog because my dog's disgusting and won't stop eating her poop. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do, you guys. I've tried switching up her diet. I've tried everything. And it's not working. And all she wants to do is eat her poop. Okay. Now. Um, now. What, sweetheart? Hi, honey. What are you doing? I'm getting my crocodile chomper out and I'm going to decide, yes I am, where I want to put the eyelets. So here. I'm marking on the outside because it's going to be an exposed spine. <sighs> Levi, what? Why are you whining at me? I don't like that. You know I don't. Look at my costume. Well, it's fine. You're outgrowing it anyways. It's it's okay, honey. I promise. Now I have to get a gecko one. <laughs> but I want owlet, the owlet one to have real wings, so I can fly. Oh. But I wanna I wanna be like a, a not a bird up. I want to be used to, there's this magical guy, he, he had a wand and he was playing with it and he actually turned into a PJ, uh, a, with, he had golden wings and was shivering. And, uh, golden hair. Okay, so there's and those yeah, three. Yeah, now yeah. I could, I could make, um, more. And I was thinking it would be really cute if we did, if I did like two eyelets right here. I don't know how that would work out though. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. Yes, so I'm going to off center. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, where my holes are ending up, but I'm going to make two eyelet holes on, over on this side of the spine. So it'll have like a zigzag effect. This 
So I'm making holes, but I'm going to actually put eyelets in them. Um, see how they're kind of... Yes, that's fine. Go ask Sissy to get it for you and tell her that I said it's okay. Please. I It's been a really long day, you guys. <laughs> My kids are both homesick this week, and it's been a lot. <laughs> All right, so I've got some um, eyelets in here that I'm going to use. Um, these are like, I think, Tim Holtz ones, and they're like brass, bronzy colored, so I figure they'll go good here instead of my gold ones. So I need five of those, and then I've got this next one, which are the rings that go on the back one. Two, three, four, five, six. That's too many. The little washers that go on the back. Okay. So... I like using this one. You can use your crocodile chomper. Just move this up, and you're now being able to chomp things. Um, but I mostly just use this to make holes in my journals. Because, um, oh my gosh, this is not my corner chomper. That's my corner chomper. It's not my, um, this. What is this called? Crocodile. Crocodile. <laughs> So I'm just going to feed it through on this side. Oh, I used the small hole punch and you need to loop. You need to use the large one. What am I thinking? Oh, I haven't done eyelets in a while. Can you tell? Okay, there we go. I'm just going to repunch where those other ones were at. Man down. Oh, geez. Okay. Sorry, guys. Normally I'm... Okay, whatever. I'm always like this. Let's just... Let's get real. I cannot wait to go to Las Vegas and get out of town. <laughs> Just to have some time to not have to cater to everybody around me. It's a lot. I know, I'm probably selfish. I probably sound like, oh, you're one of those moms. Yeah, I am. I do need a break every once in a while. I'll admit it. Okay. Okay, I'm drawing Patrick, Mom. Okay, so it goes this way. We do have an orientation because of the letters here. Uh, now you take your eyelet and you put it through this way and put your little eyelet ring. This doesn't, sometimes they don't come with these little washers. I don't um, mind either way personally, but, and the crocodile, the bigger one, I'm just going to go ahead and use it because it's got that long reach. So I'm going to be able to do all of these. And let me get rid of this. Will you turn that this light on, the big light? Thank you, sweetie. Okay, now the way you want to do this is you want the top part that comes down to go on the outside of the eyelet. No, wait. No, go through the back of the yeah, the outside of the eyelet. Sorry. <laughs> oh, shoot. What? I'm struggling. And because the back side, because the bottom, this little disc, if you can see it right here, is what squashes, squashes it out. So I'm just going to feed this in here very carefully. Line it all up. Mom, I love you. I love you too, sweetie. Uh, oh no, what did I do? 
Downstairs, honey, please. Like yep, they smell like Oreos. Yep, minty. I can, I can smell them, honey. You put it right in my face. Oh, kids. Okay, so let's try this again. Maybe we'll get it right this time. I don't know if he is got ADHD. I think he might. <laughs> Cause he like always is like blah, 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 and like spazzing out. And I'm like, wow, that's wild, dude. <laughs> it's pretty far out. <sighs> and, okay, so. See, and I like the little handheld one better just cause it's easier to get into these little spots. But we will make do. All right, now something's moved. And where did it go? Freak. Oh, guys. Okay, you know what? The little washer, forget about it. <clears throat> That's too much hassle for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right in here. And Press it down. Oh, it's not working. What in the world am I doing wrong here? Does anybody know? Can you tell me? Like, what should I be doing? See, and it's already bent enough so that I can't put a washer. I don't do eyelets very often because when I do, it makes me angry. <laughs> there. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's broken. Um, okay. Maybe what I'll do is cheat. And by cheating, I mean I'll just take a little bit of glue and glue it on there. So it's there we go. And then we'll put this through. Just like that. Okay. And do repeat steps one through 35. <laughs> Although I do have to say gluing it was a good idea because it's working better for me. All right, sorry. I'm just getting up in here so I can see what I'm doing. Maybe. I still can't see what I'm doing though. Ha. There we go. We did it that time. So that's the key there. You just uh, glue it down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what you do. I'm really hot. It's like really hot in my sewing room. I need to probably turn the fan on because it was like a really warm day today and like the furnace is still on. So it's probably, eh, I don't know, stuff. Stuff is happening and stuff. So my barking neighbor's dog is still barking. Uh, yeah, that's still a thing. It's the worst and I hate it. And <laughs> I want it to stop, but it will not forever. I don't think it ever will, to be tr if we're gonna be honest. I think I've seen animal control over there quite a few times and they just don't seem to care. Oh, my neighbors are annoyed? Well, that's all right. <laughs> oh. Okay, so that didn't quite catch. These Tim Holtz ones, eyelets, are really hard to like squash. There we go, because they're really thick. They're like wider ones, and so, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, probably that, but it's okay, it's all right, I'm enjoying this. We're having fun, okay? This is fun! Hmm. Oh, okay. 
it actually is. It's always worth it in the end though, because you know, you finally get through all of the chaos and you're like, ah, isn't that nice? That looks nice. Okay. Woohoo. I had somebody request um, that I use some eyelets and I was like, that is an excellent, fantastic idea. I'm doing it. Now that I'm doing it, I'm having some regrets. <laughs> oh, I just, eyelets are fine, but these ones are just a pain in my tuchus. And yes, I said tuchus. Okay. Yep, and it's off kilter and it's weird. It's not a perfect line. That's okay to me. I prefer the imperfection of junk journals. So, um... Let's sew in some pages now. So I'm gonna make a part two. So if you find value here, please like, subscribe, and share. I'm always happy to have new people along for the ride, and I enjoy your company when you talk to me and comment and things like that. And um, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram and Etsy. Um, I've got some really cute stuff in my Etsy shop right now. Just look up the podunk paper file, and I will be there. So look for part two, and we will sew these pages in. Bye.